What is the meaning of life? This is what people are constantly asking themselves. Now, when you frame that question, you're saying, what is the meaning of life? You mean there is a meaning, we've just got to find it. So the question carries with it its answer. Uh, is there a meaning in life? Then you've got to say, well, what could this word meaning mean in that sentence? And I, I'm stumped. I don't know what, what it could possibly be. If you say the meaning of life is to be kind to other people, uh, I would say, well, of course, I think everybody would, well, not, not everybody, but many people would say, yes, that is, that sums it up. But you don't have to believe in supernatural things in order to come to that conclusion. So life can have fulfillment, and you can serve people perhaps in your life, in the Red Cross, medically, in many ways, the, helping the poor, and you can find fulfillment in that. And then if you want to rephrase the question, you could say, that is the meaning of my life. But it doesn't presuppose that some being outside of your life has given you a banner with a strange device to carry up the hill. How to explain the difference between America and Western Europe is a question I just, I just don't know what the answer is. I've heard people say, well, it's the education system in America, what they get taught in the Midwest schools and, and that sort of thing. But that, of course, is not an answer. That's just pushing the answer one step back. If that is so, why is the education like that? And uh, I suppose it lies deep in American history. But uh, why they continue with it today, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that the person who makes a proposition has to support that proposition. So it is up to the religious people to persuade us to believe, rather than we to support uh, what, we, what we believe. But I think there are nonetheless many rational issues. One of the arguments that people sometimes use is that uh, there are many, many, many things that we don't know. Scientists are working at them and we just don't know what those things, what the answer to many questions. Maybe religion is one of those. So maybe religion is still to be uh, discovered. And so we must keep an open mind. And an open mind is very often an empty mind, I think. Now, um, relig uh, knowledge is not like that. I liken two concepts of knowledge. One is a, a pile of poker chips. And there's a, two piles on the table. One is very high and one is quite small. And the high pile is what we don't know and this little pile is what we do know. So maybe religion is one of those poker chips. <clears throat> but knowledge is not like that. Knowledge is a fabric of interrelated facts and evidence and theories. And there is no indication in what we know today that implies the existence of a spirit realm. Um, and that's all one, one can say. There is no evidence for it, so why should we believe it? But as for what effect this book may or may not have on people, I, I sometimes feel like the postmodernists who speak about the death of the author. You write it and it goes away from you and this, you've got no control over it. And I, I think of the uh, poem by C. Day Lewis where he takes his son to the school and drops him off and he goes off and he walks with the other boys and eventually he calls it walking away. And uh, when you write a book there's a certain amount of walking away from it. So what happens to it in the end, Lord only knows, if I may say it. <laughs>